the Marlins. How for real? When I look at how for real is a club, again, they're 50 and 37. That's for real. That's in the bank. They're in the first wild card spot. But if you look at their third order wins, and that is the general production that they churn out, they should be a 500 team. If you look at just their run differential, they should be one game under 500. So which is real? So I was thinking about this a few weeks ago as it pertains to the Seattle Mariners because I was trying to figure out what's different with the Mariners this year versus last year. I remember last year the Mariners were that team that was winning a lot of close games, a lot of late games, a lot of one run games. And they had like whether or not it's quote unquote real. Well, first of all, the wins count. Like you say, they're already in the bank, but also it's a lot of fun. It creates an energy, a dynamic, yeah. a sort of yeah. enthusiasm for the year. And I know that the Mariners ended up getting swept out of the division series, but I bet their fans and their young players would say that that was sort of worth it to them yeah. to try to like ride the high, ride the momentum that comes from winning a lot of close games to at least a little bit of a postseason period. Yeah, and the, Mar it, the, the Marlins, like the Mariners last year, it's been a long time. I mean, if you leave out 2020, right, right. they haven't Let been it, in the postseason in like 20 years. I have a follow-up for Hannah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do they make, the, no, it's you. Do they make up, do they make the playoffs this year, the Marlins? <sighs> Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah. Think so. No, no, I, you don't. Yeah. I, think, I think they no, do. You don't. I think they <laughs> don't make the playoffs, but I think, but I do think the Phillies will catch them. I do mm -hmm. believe that they're going to make the playoffs. I'm the Marlins, really? yes, really? and I and I, and I, be I believe stunned. I believe stunned. this because of, because of the energy they've created. Birdie's an energy player. Wendell's an energy player. I mean, Sanchez has actually have allowed him to develop. I mean, it's pretty cool uh, for him to like become the player he was. He was terrible last year. Bounce back, and they've you know they put you know some eggs in his basket. Um, okay. Even Solaire, who actually has a little you know he's he's got a little uh, experience in that area. So and he's had a lot of success. He's been an MVP in the playoffs. So it's not something he's not, he's not aware of. So I mean it, it's one of those things where I think that they're creating a a situation not just pitching wise but also on the field that's uh, creating a great energy there in at, at Marlins Park. I'll or say Lone Depot, I, I guess it is. Yeah, I'll say I don't even know. I'll say I I don't um, I wouldn't expect it. But to your point, I remember the Mariners. I always bring them up two years ago when they were negative 50 run differential, and yet they were a good team on the field. I haven't seen that with the Mariners yet, but maybe I'll have to watch a little closely. Oh, it all hinges, of course, on their top player. The most cherished record in all of sports. Luis Arise is chasing history. And if you're asking, hey, can you can you roll the bombers out when you're hitting 387? Yes, we can. Luis Arise. By the way, he's six for 19. This is last since we've last been on the air. Six for 19. He's hitting 316 over the last couple of days. That's not atrocious. And yet his his average has slid from what 402 to 387. Thoughts on the chase for 400? Uh, more teams should make challenge trades, major leaguer for major leaguer. Both the Twins and the Marlins benefiting from this. Luis Arise, Pablo well, Lopez. Marlins did that with Jazz Chisholm, and it was different yes. GMs. But you know yes, what? you're right. Yes, right. the Marlins with these. Challenge trade. I want this guy. You want something? Leaders. I'll give it to you. Yeah, during no, the off yeah, season, but yes. not during the trade deadline because I don't think again, robbing Peter to pay Paul in this situation is just not the way to go. You you can need to improve your club, and you don't necessarily want to do it by taking players off of that club. Oh, we should talk about this a different. I think time. I, I think, think there's going to be more the off, major leaguer for major leaguer trades. This but year. I think in the off season's fine. But I don't think it's going to happen I think in there'll the be trade deadline. Fewer. No, I think there's going to be more. But more teams what? think they're in it, even if they're not. They'd be loath to do. It takes guts to do the major leaguer for major leaguer trade. Because you know, I could come back to haunt you.